Hey guys, welcome back to Dirty Water TV. I'm Leah Clark. So I am standing outside New York City's oldest continually operated saloon, McSurley's Old Ale House. Established in 1854, this place has seen the likes of Abe Lincoln, John Lennon, and more. So let's go inside and feel all that history, shall we? <laughs> Located on the Lower East Side on 7th Street between 2nd and 3rd Avs, McSurley's Old Ale House is a jaunt back in time to the old sod across the pond. Do you know who McSurley is? He was from County Tyrone in Ireland. He founded this place in 1854 and he just basically wanted a simple bar. In traditional Irish pub fashion, McSorley's floor has been thoroughly scattered with sawdust to take care of the spills and other messes that often accompany large quantities of beer. McSorley's became an institution by remaining uncompromisingly authentic and providing only two choices to its customers, McSorley's Dark Ale and McSorley's Light Ale. We've always had a light and a dark ale. It's, it's changed over the years, but we try to keep it consistent. I mean, this is just like a light ale. So, but it's very good. We are with Matt Asen, who is a dear friend to Dirty Water TV. Matt, can you tell us what is going on with these bones above, above my head? <laughs> Those are wishbones, turkey wishbones. Back in World War I, before even I was born, before the boys went off to war, they'd have the last meal here, and they'd put the chicken bone up there, the, the turkey bone up there. And when they came back after the war, I still get, they take it down. Those are the bones, and there were hundreds of them remnants of the boys from the neighborhood who served the country and never came back. Wow, that's but incredible. Here's to them and here's to uh, a boy that's older than me and been here before I was born and you were born and anybody who's born. McSurley's is a step back in time from the original icebox. Wow. And it works. Yep. To the coal stove that keeps everyone warm in the winter. Since its inception, McSurley's was infamously a gentleman's club. That all changed in 1969 when the National Organization for Women successfully sued the bar. Women's Lib movement came upon and they said, we're going to use the bathroom, we're going to come in here and drink. And there was a bit of a ruckus, but they got their way. You know, strong women. 1969 was the year I graduated high school. We used to sneak in here with draft cards, fake draft cards, and it was men only. And Stuyvesant High School down the street where I went was boys only. And that year, somebody sued the city, so there's women or girls allowed in the high school and they sued McSorley's and they allowed women, but they only had the one men's room. And they didn't put another restroom in for quite a while, so the women would have to go in and use the stall, and you see a woman standing here protecting. But these are the cathedrals of men's bathrooms, and they're really special. Eventually, in 1986, McSorley's added a woman's restroom. We do have a ladies room. From its humble origins as an Irish working bar, McSurley's has seen presidents, residents, authors, and thieves grace this old pub. We get everybody, and I think that's what makes the place fun, you know, to work. You never know who you're talking to. You never, I mean, it's just interesting just even when people are standing next to each other at the bar and they start talking and they have something in common which just happened like two seconds ago was really funny. <laughs> Owner Teresa Mahar Del Ahaba started in the kitchen only to move behind the bar at her father Matt's request. The first female bartender ever at McSurley's. Today, she runs the day-to-day -day operation. Who'd have thunk it? A female running McSurley's. Many have sat and shared, all abiding by McSurley's golden rule. Be good or be gone. I mean, I've used it maybe a handful of times in 28 years. I'm like, guys, remember. <laughs> and you know, people always say, oh, I should put that in my house for my kids. <laughs> it just works here. Be good or be gone. Did you guys see anybody, any sort of celebrities coming here growing up? Recently, I was uh, across the street and met with the uh, Cardinal. And he was walking down the street and he saw the place. He waved to the guys outside. He says, guys, I'll be back. 15 minutes, I'm going to get a haircut. Sure enough, he came back and had some lunch. Amazing. Well, I think we should cheers. Should we cheers? Cheers. Cheers, you guys. Cheers to McSurley. Great to see you. Hey! Hey! Old friends. Old friends. Went to kindergarten together. Dirty Water TV. Cheers.